Alright guys, on this video, we've got Brooke and her Ford Mustang GT, it's a 2020 S550, and on the last video we showed you guys we couldn't get all the drive modes working, right? Yeah, so none of the drive modes worked except for normal and drag strip mode. Um, they did do an upgrade, it was a originally a 4 inch screen and then the previous owner upgraded it to the 8 inch screen, and that kind of was, what'd you call it? I guess it disabled the rest of the modes in the system so we downloaded forest hand with the 2020 model i guess they changed the bcm coding of the system so we had to try to figure that one out and we found a resolution for it so i guess this video is going to show you guys if you have a 2020 mustang gt how to get the drive mode selection to work if it didn't work previously. All right, so we're in the car. I'm gonna cut back to an old video and show you guys what it was doing before on the screen when you tried to use the drive modes. So originally this car came with a four inch screen. This has now got the eight inch screen. And when you try to enable the drive modes, I'll show you guys what it was doing. If you try to put the mode button on, it, it won't go into sport. It says drive mode selection not available. And it won't go into track. So you guys can see that. Yeah, it won't go into track and it, it won't go into drag sport. Mode, though. But you can go into the, the drag strip mode. Yeah, it works. So that, I guess, is drag strip mode. Yeah. All right, so we're going to show you guys before we show the programming. Now it works. So when she hits this here, we can actually select all the different modes. So put it in sport plus. So there, sport plus locks in and then put it in track. So now track mode, you can see their traction off and it actually goes into the modes. So the other thing too, I'll show you guys how to program that and what we figured out. And then this also, there's an issue with the hazard working. Now it actually works. So you hit it up once and your hazards come on. And then when you push it down, hazards turn off. So there was an issue with that as well. So I had to program that, but I'll show you guys the programming changes we made. On this 2020 since it's different than the 15 to 19 models and i'll show you guys how we got it done okay so what you're gonna need to get the job done we're using a windows laptop um you can apparently use actually i think it's limited if you use the uh android right yeah. you don't have as much functions mm -hmm. so windows laptop you're gonna need one of these we'll link it down below obd link mx plus and then you're gonna need to download four scan yes i said four scan and not something else um, we'll put the link in the description below where you guys can download that program. You able, were able to get some sort of unlocked thing, right? Like Yes. If you go on the Forescan download, there's going to be an option for you to request a full access license. It's going to be good for, I think it's 60 or 90 days. Just have to enter in your email. You'll get it sent to you. So when you do actually go into the Forescan app, which we'll show you here in a second, you're going to put that code that they email you into the actual software and it's going to enable a full license. All right. And then we'll show you guys the programming changes. Okay. So this is Bluetooth. We're going to go ahead and plug it into our OBD2 port. And then with that plugged into the OBD2, we've got our ignition in run, but the engine is off as you can see there. And then now we're going to go over to the computer and show you guys the changes there. All right. So first you're going to have to connect to the OBD link. So go ahead, just follow the steps on your computer connect to it with bluetooth until it says connected okay so we're going to open up the four scan app and it's going to pretty much prompt you so it's going to pop up with your vehicle you're going to say yes and you want to connect to it and then just give it a second it's going to go through checking all the different modules and whatever so next up this little thing that looks like the computer chip deal here it says configuration programming we're going to click on that and then it's going to show a bunch of stuff sometimes it won't always show this if you see here, there's two tabs, configuration programming and then log. So just make sure you're on configuration and programming. It's also a good idea to back up your changes. Um, or if you only make a couple changes like we are, um, just take pictures or screenshots of whatever coding you had before. So we're going to show you guys this part. You're going to go down to first IPC. So highlight that module configuration as built format. Sounds confusing. It is what it is. So make sure you have that one highlighted. Then you need to come over here to this play button. It says run service procedure. We're going to click that. And then it's going to go ahead and so you're going to see it kind of doing something down here. So just let it kind of populate. And then it's going to pop up saying, you know, change this is not safe, blah, blah, blah. You guys can read that if you want. 
you're gonna hit okay and then it's gonna pop up with all this stuff so the one that we want to go to i'll show you guys there's all these different programming blocks with all these id numbers so the 720-06-1 or what it have you those are the ones that we're interested in and then uh, i'll show you guys which one we want to record so write down what yours is right now and then we'll show you guys what you got to change all right so there's going to be some different numbers based on if your vehicle is a 10 speed which this one is or if it's a six speed uh, manual of course so um i'm going to put up on the screen what our code was the one that we're interested in is the 720-06-01 in the ipc module so that's the one we're going to be changing in this module so the original code you can see here was the 7C6D967B1840. So that's the one that we ended up changing in this one, and I'll show you guys what we end up putting. So you're gonna change that out, like I said, 10 speed configuration in our instance. We changed it to 6C7F8018B as in Bob 1. So once you write those in, then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click write. So save to ECU. No changes, nothing to do. But um, if we were to change that, it's gonna say, do you wanna change that? And then it will go ahead, you'll see across the bottom here, this bar here will load, and then it's gonna tell you to turn the ignition off, turn it back on. So that's all you have to do. So that's the only change we need to do in the IPC. So we're gonna make that one change. And then let's go over to the ABS module because we have to make a change there. So I find it's kind of a little bit clunky as far as moving things around, but um, we're gonna hit stop service procedure and we need to go into the other module. So kind of have to poke around a little bit, come back to this chip here. Um, now we wanna go into our ABS module. So ABS module configuration as built format. We're gonna hit the play button. It's gonna give us the same little warning. We're gonna say, okay. And then we're going to go in here and I'm going to show you guys what we ended up changing here. Okay, so I'm going to put this up on the screen at what we ended up changing here so that you guys can see it. So 760-02-02. So we're going to end up changing this part here. So what we had it saved as was originally it was 0200-6310-00E0. That's what ours was. And I'll show you guys what we changed it to. So you'll see here on our screen, we changed it to 0200-7310-00F as in Frank, zero. So once we put that in here, we're gonna hit right. We didn't change anything, so it's saying no changes, nothing to do, but same thing. It's gonna prompt you, do you wanna change this? You're gonna let it change, and then it's gonna tell you to turn the ignition off, turn it back on. So you're gonna do that, follow that, and then that's gonna make your drive modes work. Now we're gonna show you which one we had to change to get the hazards to be working. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit the stop button down here in the corner. And then we're gonna pop out of here. So we'll click on the configuration and programming tab, and then we have to go into the body control module. So BDY CM, we're gonna go into as built, hit the play button, same little warning prompt deal going to go through all this on the log and then you have to come back over here click on configuration and programming it kind of jumps around a little bit as you saw there i didn't really click anything but um, now we're going to go down i'll show you guys which section we ended up changing you're going to have to scroll down quite a bit so you might have to pull over here we're going to go down to i believe it was byte 41 right i believe so yeah, so 41, and then I'll show you guys what ours was originally and show you guys what we had to change. Okay, so it is the 726-41-01 that we ended up changing. So if you look here, ours was originally 0100-0010071. And then I'll show you guys what we ended up changing it to. All right, so if you look at what we have here, all zeros, so four zeros in the first box, 0001 and then it ends up being a 0070 so change yours to what you see there then you click right again no changes since we didn't change anything but yours is going to tell you to cycle the key and then that's it so then your hazards will work your drive modes will work and now everything works 
Okay, so right now it's just she's got it in regular mode. So you can see it's just shifting. I mean, she's kind of accelerating it regardless, but it's staying down in the RPM. It's at like 1700 RPM. So do you want to change it to the other mode? All right, so this one is four plus. Uh... So it'll, in Sport Plus mode, it'll hold the gear a little bit more. So it's not going into full overdrive. And then which one are you gonna try? Uh, let's do track, uh, this has traction control off. Kinda crazy the distance between the car in front of me. So, and then your paddles, you can downshift, right? So it has a little more spicier downshifts. And then it's gonna hold the gear more, so. What do you think, feel any different, or? Yeah, I like it. She sounds spicier. So you grabbed the paddle there, right? Yeah. Okay, so you shifted it back in on auto. Yeah. spicy actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. I don't even know how fast I was going there. Uh, it seemed a lot spicier that time. Which yeah. mode was that in? Uh, this one is Sport Plus. Okay. So I think I got up to six grand in the RPMs. Yeah. Pretty it spicy. Kind of, I think it goes up to like eight, but yeah. But you weren't like full throttle. Yeah. Not bad. And then I think the only other mode is drag strip mode, which you already have that. Yeah, we've, we've tried that one, and then snow and wet, but unless it rains, I don't see a use for it, at least not in Florida. Yeah, I mean, we just enabled this probably an hour ago, so she hasn't had a ton of time to really drive in the different modes, but comment down below what you guys think the difference really is between the Sport Plus and the track mode. Obviously, the traction control is off for the track mode, but as far as shifting and stuff like that, let us know down below what kind of different experiences you guys are having with the different modes, shifting wise and acceleration and all that stuff, or downshifting even. So, anyways, that's pretty much it, right? We're gonna head back? Yeah. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Everything you guys will need to get this done will be down in the description below. And yeah, now all the functions are working with the bigger screen.